What we believe is that it's not true that we know everything about diet. There are a lot of dogma that are there in the scientific community, in the society. One dogma, for example, is that protein is safe, protein is good. You can eat as, many, as much protein as you want because it's good, it's good for your health. Our data are strongly suggesting that it's not the case, that you, know, you need the, the ideal protein intake, not too, not too little, not too much. And, and, uh, and if you are overeating proteins for many years, you have higher IGF-1, and because you have a higher, higher IGF-1, you have a higher risk of prostate cancer, breast cancer, and colon cancer. In fact, in, in Asia, you know, in, in Japan, the, the risk of prostate cancer, breast cancer, and colon cancer was very low, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And when these people, they were moving to U.S., in one generation, the risk of breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, you know, was became very high, similar to the to the U.S. people, suggesting that there are, you know, some environmental factors that are mediating this higher risk of uh, uh, developing this very common type of cancer. The problem is that you know we have to come up with a set of risk factors and interventions that you know we can. Uh, modulate. Think about it, in 1950, so it's not, you know, 300 years ago, 1950, we didn't know which were the risk factors for cardiovascular disease, for, 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 for a heart attack. There is a paper published on, uh, I think it's uh, JAMA in 1950, showing in, in, in introduction, the, the first author says that, you know, the, the, the high risk of cardiovascular disease in, 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 of heart attack in U.S. was due probably to climatic geographic factors, because in, at that time, you know, in, in, in Crete, in South Italy, in Japan, there was a very low risk. Sort of in U.S., there was a very high risk. People, they were, you know, they were dying of heart attack quite, 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 quite frequently. And so the, 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 the introduction says geographic climatic factors. Right now, thanks you know, to, this, to his studies and other studies, we know that you know, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, high glucose, so that type 2 diabetes, smoking, uh, inflammation, and obesity are major risk factors. So if you have low cholesterol, low blood pressure, low inflammation, you are not smoking, and you don't have type 2 diabetes, you have low glucose, you will not develop a heart attack. So our goal is to understand which are the factors that you can measure because in 2011, there is nothing I can measure in your blood to tell you if you have a high, medium, or low risk of developing prostate cancer, of breast cancer, or colon cancer. I can ask you, there is anybody in your family that ha had cancer? If, if the answer is yes, then you know that you have a higher risk than some, someone that didn't have any, any close relative with cancer. But again, we, we don't have risk factors that we can measure like cholesterol, blood pressure, glucose. I, and so these studies, I think, you know, this protein restriction study, for example, I think is an important study just to start to define some of these risk factors, for example, IGF-1, and by modulating it like they did with cholesterol, you know, they, they discovered that, you know, if you, if you are reducing your animal fat that is rich in saturated fatty acids, you were reducing cholesterol. And from these studies, they then discovered cholesterol was an important risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So this study is basically the same. You know, we are hypothesizing that high protein, in, higher than recommended protein intake is modulating IGF-1, and by reducing protein intake, you reduce IGF-1, and by reducing IGF-1 and other factors, you block gro the growth of prostate cancer and then, you know, other cancer in the future that we are planning to study.